These were my first skis. No. I had like this. My well, first competitive well, skiing was like this. Split 1972, game. 73 yeah. maybe? Yeah. Split this game. is Paul Tullum uh, 68 at 72. Yeah. I think it's fair to say that probably or most likely people started to ski everywhere in the world where there was snow and there was a need for transport between farms or, or hunting or whatever. But we might say that the competitive skiing started here actually. The first serious competition started here. Yeah, Is that right? Yeah, in the late 1800s and it started here and it was organized. Uh, the idea of sports came from uh, actually Germany and England to Norway, but the Norwegian organized skiing here and, and, and it turned into a national sport uh, uh, with the popularity all over the nation. I think it's going to survive in the future because when people sit in front of computers and cell phones, they need to be active, they need to move. When you ski, you use between 600 and 630 muscles. It's more oxygen and cold air. I think it's the rhythm of life, it's poetry in motion and it's the best way to move and it's soft movement so you can ski when you get older and it's just a beautiful sport. Whether you skied from farm to farm, hunting in the forest, yeah. you, you had soft snow, we have hard snow, but then today we have groomed, we have tracks, but, but still the movement is actually the same. Skiers today still have the same spirit when they do competitive skiing. It's the, the love of skiing and the love of being outdoors. I think that's the spirit of skiing. Equipment has changed, it's lighter, it's faster. So in, and in, together with that, of course, the sport has adapted. Uh, I mean, the poles is lighter, um, skis are faster, we are moving, but we are still moving in kind of the same way as we did from the early beginning. A lot of young people or people of my age in, <laughs> in Oslo know they, they, are, they, was, they grew up when their family went out uh, when there was a 50k, they slept over in a tent way out in the woods and they waited for the races to come next morning. So that was a, a kind of tradition for the 50k. We still have the same now, but of course the loops is, is, um, is shorter and the tents are tighter. So, and the atmosphere is maybe even more tense. Mm -hmm. uh, young people has a huge party, uh, but we see the, the element is the same that it was already more than 50, 60 years ago.